Today we have the most cunning plan ever. It is one of the murkiest schemes that I could think of. But it is all contingent upon deception. We will do a two-pronged attack like we've never done before. A small expeditionary force to draw the attention. And then, as they respond to it, a larger secondary force that can now not be responded to anymore. If things work out, we can and will take over the world with this. But if it doesn't work out, well, another great strategy by the waysides. This is the kind of build... Yo, thank you, Son Excellence. This is the kind of build that I imagined would be possible before I ever went pro. One of the things that I thought pro games would look like in RTSs... And this is way before I ever... This is like... Maybe... Well, it's a long time ago. I'm not that old. It can't be that long ago. But I guess it was a while ago before I went pro. So anyway... This is the kind of thing that I thought pro games would consist of. My fantasies had that in mind. So basically, I thought in StarCraft 1, if you wanted to go pro, you could make like a hallucination of a shuttle and then you send it somewhere and then they try to respond to it and then it's actually fake and then the real one is somewhere else and it just wins you the game. And in all my years as being pro, <laughs> It's not actually that common to play it out that way. I don't know why. It's too much effort, too gimmicky. But I thought this is the stuff that ge games and dreams are made of. So it's going to be something like that. I don't want to spoil exactly what we're going to be doing, but it's something like that. It has to... I'll tell you just it's going to have to do with invisibility. That's all I'll tell you. But first, let's build up a normal start. Peasant's a little bit low. Uh, we can make a farm here. Uh, don't spoil it, my my life season three episode two. It's supposed to be a secret. I was watching Brood War. I saw like three Protoss shuttle drops in one minute. Right, so it does happen. <laughs> Delete my comment. No, it's cool. You guessed it, but there are some extra contingencies that change things, okay? It's not all... It's not all so obvious. Let's make a shop. Uh, I'm gonna need a blacksmith. I think I have enough footmen. Uh oh Go TP out, man. Okay, we've defended the first attack. We should have a troll priest, maybe. I think I go to the shop and I go sell the invulnerability. It shouldn't be necessary. And I need some more money. I've spent quite a lot of resources on tier 1. Regen Skrill. Yeah, exactly. Phase 1 completed. Get TP. I think that helps a lot. Because my my plan actually involves sell, like them losing their TP. Hey, I can't sell anything here. Because there's no space. Okay. Oh, this ogre mauler is uh, not letting my footman alone. 
I shouldn't need anything except Archmage. Can make one more peasant. Meanwhile, we'll try to. We can just try to get level uh, six as well. Yo, Grubster, I love you, bro. You're my favorite player in Warcraft 3. I started to play by watching you. Now I'm 1840 MMR Orc. On uh, W3 Champions? It's pretty good, man. Nice job. More lumber is required. Which night of game did you like yesterday? Sexy hog. Congrats on Legend 5. Thank you. I should have been home buying more items for my arcane vault already. I guess I could just use uh, backpack upgrade. There's a little bit of a build up as we prepare. Little bit of a build up as the music rises in excitement levels. Hmm? Oh, yeah, Mortars don't get backpack. I keep forgetting. This is the second time I found out in a week that Mortars don't get backpack. Not super obvious per se. You know? Hello! You can creep quite a lot with just a bunch of footies, don't you think? I'm actually surprised how much you can creep with just footmen and water elemental. I mean, it shouldn't be surprising. It's always been that way. Which is part of the reason why the hero is such a good starter hero. And we're level 5. He's still level 2. I got him anyway. What a good idea. Okay. I'm not 100% sure why he came here with this Archmage. <laughs> Where do you want us? I think we have enough sorceresses actually. That makes sense. He was kind of trying to do like the thing where he's preventing me to expand when he's got one. I'm gonna need so many more shops for what I'm planning. We have magic sentry now. Oh, that's so many towers. And castle. Wait, is he going griffins? Oh my god. What the f- What the f- What is this? <laughs> Dude, you 
cannot even afford that many. What is going on? Holy. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on just a second here. This is gonna be kind of hard. Job's done. Oh. Job's done. Well, hey, this is his dog. We have lift up. Hello, show us a target. What is it? Hello, get down, Spike. What a good idea. Oh my god. Mass teleport. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Is this in this? Oh, they are in this. They don't look it. Is this mine? Yeah. Where am I shit? There we go. <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> he can't even afford that many. Uh, Griffin Aviaries, it's ridiculous. I was supposed to lock him out with my critters, but uh, he can fly. He's not very reliant on his Archmage, so... Oh god. Where are my other mortars? Oh god, everything is going wrong. Alright, I think we can settle for just trying to win or something. Was it supposed to be this way? This is horrible. Okay to 
What the fuck is this? He took my base. This guy is high rolling on bases. I didn't have enough critters. He's killing all the critters too. Alright, we're gonna have to take our own base too. I still have critters. Luckily, flying machines beat Griffiths. Farms are out. Still in repairs. Wait, is he attacking with... No. Dude, what is this Griffin investment? This aviary, what does he think he's playing? Starcraft? It's crazy. Wait, don't tell me he's he's got bottom left too. Okay. He's just escaping with them. How you doing? How you doing? Approaching the sound barrier. The one thing I didn't expect is seven Griffin aviaries. <laughs> I don't even know how you have money for it. That needs the sorceresses too. If you attack move over creep camps, they wake up and kill you. If you just move past, then you're fine. Well, I felt like I had a clear narrative of what I wanted to do this game. And now it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I still have critters? Yeah. Quack quack. What is it now? This better be Okay to go. Ready to work. Ready to help me. Help me. What is it? Yeah, his build, I feel like I'm once again beaten at my own game. His build is even more goofy. I have never seen, we can actually try his build order next. Fast expand, and then six aviaries. I'm a bit worried about how to, let's say how to get value out of that, but he didn't worry about it. He just did it. He didn't get bogged down in the details. And maybe that's what life is all about. Just do it. Wee! Wee! 
<laughs> that slow sound, man. I, I got nightmares. Yeah, level 10. All right. All right, buddy. Oops. Hey, I can't level anymore. You can stop losing griffins now. Then Archmage was also on the bucket list. So that kind of works out. He's also level six. He must have top right. He must have top right. Oh, by the way, this might be a nice time to leverage our... The, there's a trick. There is a trick. Some of you may know the trick. This is an exploit that has existed since the start of Warcraft 3. And yet very few people use it because it needs your full attention and there's always other things going on that are important. But now I have nothing else going on in my life. Look at my resources. Rapid deterioration of resources, right? Now look at this. Now look at that. Now look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> Manual labor is the best. I think we can all agree. I like the automatic item drop with no mana value. Yeah, me too, Dark D9. Once he stole... Hey, I saw this recently on one of your videos, Starbuck. Once he saw that I was saving mad money with uh, the Moss Peasant trick, he thought, it's too much. Yo, I think these are his critters, by the way. You know how you can test if it's a neutral critter or uh, an AI critter. They show up as yellow, which is non-enemy, but if you right-click it, they die. It is his critter! Oh, and this one isn't. The dog was his, and this chicken is just an innocent chicken. Anyway, death to both. Sub to the grub.